With hurricane season around the corner, forecasters are preparing for another active year. Something that drives storms is La Nina, but forecasters say that's starting to change. So what does that mean for us? Meteorologist Ryan Shoptal explains. El Nino and La Nina are two different ocean patterns that influence weather across the globe. And after three years in the La Nina phase, the tides are finally turning. Temperatures are warming up, which will have an impact not only on weather here in Texas, but also on the amount of storms we see during hurricane season. The El Nino Southern Oscillation is the change in temperature in the tropical Pacific, where water moves due to trade winds, and if winds are strong, water moves west and the upwelling of cooler water occurs, resulting in a La Nina pattern. If weak, water is stagnant and that helps it to warm. As a matter of fact, due to weaker trade winds this year, temperatures have begun to climb, leading us to believe we're heading into an El Nino pattern. During an El Nino, this typically leads to wetter conditions across Texas and the South, especially into winter. This change also affects hurricanes. And take a look, over the last eight years, we've endured five La Nina patterns, four of which have produced extremely active hurricane seasons, 30 named storms, which was a record back in 2020. El Nino generally means fewer hurricanes in the Atlantic, whereas in La Nina, more hurricanes form, courtesy to cooler waters off the coast of Peru. These changes in temperature affect air pressure and wind shear across the globe and winds are a big ingredient in tropical weather and climate. Notice how during La Nina years, stronger, more powerful hurricanes have formed in the Atlantic moving near the US. Here are notable ones like Harvey, Katrina, and Hurricane Laura. Whereas since 1980, most El Nino years have produced significantly less tropical activity, Hurricane Andrew being one of few, with most remaining out at sea. While temperatures are neutral now, warming is inevitable this summer and hurricane season begins on June 1st. Again, El Nino means less hurricanes in the Atlantic. We'll start to see forecasts later this spring on hurricane season. While less are expected, it only takes one to make a difference. Ryan Shoptal, Kins 5.